What if this turns out to be like a horror movie? A few moments later. What the heck? What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. I'm Franklin. Today we're watching The Sixth Sense. Now I know I've been on a Tom Hanks wave for a while now, but Bruce Willis is one actor that is highly renowned for his acting prowess. The Sixth Sense is a movie I know nothing about, but I think it has some kind of mystery, supernatural element to it. And <laughs> I love those kind of stories because I love to dive in. Obviously the Green Mile had some of that. God, my chest. Um, the Green Mile was crazy, but it has some of that mystery, supernatural aspect, paranormal that I really like. And I think I'm going to get that feel from here as well. So thank you all for clicking on this video. Thank you for voting on the polls. Thanks for all the love you have been showing to my channel. Thanks for all the comments. I'm reading them. I'm responding. I'm getting through them. Appreciate you. And to my patrons, thank you for helping me produce these videos. For each and every one of you who clicked on the video, I hope you have a great time. Let's get into the sixth sense. That theme is already hidden. Bruce Willis. I gotta watch Die Hard. That's ominous. <laughs> Who are you, miss? What if this turns out to be like a horror movie? I don't do so well with horror movies at all. Ah, wine. yeah this is uh that was that was creepy <laughs> it's almost like something was hiding in the shadows is this bruce Cold. yes sir that is one fine frame frame like a picture frame but you sound a little like dr seuss when you're drunk <laughs> dr seuss to improve the quality of life for countless children and their families the city of philadelphia proudly bestows upon its son reputation for professional excellence. I like how they used her reading that as a way to just give us all that information. We should hang it in the bathroom. <laughs> this is an important night for us. Finally, someone is recognizing the sacrifices you've made. That to solve psychology. Second, including me. If that teaches children how to be strong in situations where most adults would piss on themselves. That's very important work right there. Psychological child care. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> They're having a good time. Hello? Look. She seen something? Someone break in? <laughs> Holy sh... Yep, they're still there. Oh, heck no. Is the person taking a piss? What in the world? Oh, he is not this is okay. Seven Locust Street. You've broken a window and entered a private residence. You don't know so many things. Hello? Is the person a junkie? What's going on? Do you know why you're afraid when you're alone? I do. What? What do you want? What he promised me! What would he promise? Oh, oh is he a patient of his? Don't you even remember your own patience? Wow, that was a patient when he was little? You told me I was having trouble coping with my parents' divorce. Yeah, when he was a kid. Now look at me! Dang. I'm not giving you nothing. Oh my god, it's getting freak. wild. Poor guy. I am. I am a freak looking. Vincent Gray. He's trying to remember his <clears throat> name. I do remember you. Quiet. Very smart. Passionate. Mm, he's trying to de-escalate. Usually compassionate. You forgot cursed. Cursed? You failed me! He is such a good actor. Vincent, I'm sorry if I was... I didn't help you, but if you just... What is he doing? Let me try. Just give me a chance. Oh! That is one way to start a movie. Okay. This movie doesn't joke around. The next fall. 
Obviously, he survived that shot, right? I mean, not Vincent, but is he going to be paralyzed if he survived? Oh, he's fine. Is that Forrest Gump? Cool. Mm, divorced parents, acute anxiety, social isolation, possible mood disorder. Yikes. Got the full, the full lowdown. It is baby Forrest. <laughs> that kid ran away so fast. You guys think he knows he's being watched? Oh, he's a fast walker. Yeah, I think he knows he's being watched. <laughs> that kid is zipping. Is he going to school or... Hmm, church. I wonder what mysteries this movie holds for us. My name is Dr. Malcolm Crow. We were supposed to meet today, but I missed our appointment. Sorry. <laughs> His little dolls. Well, in the olden days, in Europe, people used to hide out in churches. What were they hiding from? Bad people, mostly. Mm. People that wanted to put them in jail. Hurt them. Hurt them. What were you talking about with your soldiers when I came in? They... De profundis clamo ad te domine. He's good. It's called Latin. Ooh, ooh. The scratches. Is that self-harm? Oh, soldiers speak Latin. I won an award once. From the mayor, had an expensive frame. Mm, from the beginning, yeah. I'm gonna see you again, right? <laughs> Pretty <okay> much. <laughs> He's such a nice kid. <laughs> he just stole from the church. <laughs> uh, add to your collection. Are they gonna address what happened to Vincent in the beginning? The stuff like that stays with you, man. It doesn't leave Bye. you. Hmm. Has she been crying? Or is she sick? Latin. Wow. Is he trying to learn Latin so he can converse with the kid? If he is, then that just shows he cares, but... Or is he trying to translate what the kid was saying? Out of the depth, I'll cry to you, O Lord. Interesting. Oh, that's his mom. I like the... Okay, that scared me. Did he do that? How did he do that? You're looking for a baby? Pop-tarts? Right here. Does this kid have superpowers or something? Lots of things. She's aware, isn't Don't she? Bad about me. I was not thinking something bad about you. Hmm. Got it? Got it. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, there's something up there. <laughs> and I think she knows something. What? Yeah, she knows something. Hey baby. <laughs> Look who came to visit. You know you can tell me things if you need to. I love that she's Available to him, at least trying emotionally. Uh, yeah, I won the Pennsylvania lottery in the morning, and then I swim in the fountain all afternoon. She's lying. I was picked first for kickball teams at recess. Out of boy. Grand slam to win the game. Everybody lifted me up on their shoulders and carried me around cheering. Oh, is this like an exercise they both do, like a positivity yeah, thing? Fake it till you make it. Hey, want to sit? <laughs> no. Want to play a game? I read your mind. Mm. What I say is right. You take one step towards the chair. If you reach the door, you can go. That's so smart. I think that's just a good way to connect with a child, you know? Because everyone likes to play a game. <laughs> this man is even humming. <laughs> when your mother and father were first divorced, your mom went to see a doctor like me. So you think I'm not going to be able to help you. Wow. That's a short step. <laughs> she said she told him things. Things she couldn't tell anyone else. Mm. Secrets. Hey, two for two. I want to know those secret secrets. Want to tell me. I love it. It's making that connection with him. Maybe that watch as a present just before he went away. Mm. As a step backward. He forgot it in a drawer. Doesn't work. Hmm. I drew a man. 
got hurt in the neck by another man with a screwdriver. Yikes. Everyone got upset. They had a meeting. Yikes. I don't draw like that anymore. Dogs running. Regular rainbows. stuff. They don't have meetings about rainbows. I guess they don't. I love so much that through this little game that they're playing, we've learned like so much about him and his struggles and it's, it's it's such a brilliant way to bring out uh the story without being explicit with it what am i thinking now i don't think he can read that deep <laughs> wrong answer you're nice but you can't help me dang that kid is self-aware he knows he's dealing with some heavy stuff I thought you meant the other italian restaurant i asked you to marry me I get the sense that they're not doing so great. I'm so sorry, Anna. Like they were in the beginning. I just can't seem to keep track of time. Same mannerisms, same expressions, same things hanging over their head. Is he talking about Vin Vincent? <sighs> On his arm, I think they might be fingernail cuts. Mm. Defensive cuts, maybe, I don't know. It doesn't seem to fit. Right. Maybe bullies at school? <sighs> or I could just be wrong. Maybe he's just a kid who likes to climb trees a lot. Yeah, she is not. Anna. She's not having it. I know that I've been a little distant. I feel like I'm being given a second chance and I don't want it to slip away. Anna. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Fucking A. I bet he didn't even remember that was their anniversary. And I mean, she did say in the beginning how he worked so hard for the award that he put work first and everything second, including her. Which makes me think that even though things were going great in the beginning, she was still feeling like she was second. And I bet she feels that even more now where like their relationship has some friction in it. Did you ever talk to your mom about how things are with Tommy? I don't tell her things. She doesn't look at me like everybody else and I don't want her to. I don't want her to know. You know what? Exactly. But I'm a freak. He's hiding something. You are not a freak, okay? There you go. Don't you believe anybody that tries to convince you of that? That's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Okay? You said the S word. <laughs> I know. Sorry. I was gonna say I think it's I think it's great that this kid is having an adult figure like tell him these things that you know he's not a freak and whatnot. What is it with the cold and people feeling cold in this movie? I cannot see baby forest. What is that light? It's always there. It's almost like a halo. Even as a kid. Interesting. I love how this movie is dropping so breadcrumbs. Pittsburgh with a lady that works in a toll booth. Free association writing is when you take a pencil in your hand and you put the pencil to a piece of paper and you start writing. And after a while, words and thoughts start coming out that you didn't even know you had in you. Could I had no idea that was a thing. Something you heard, feelings you had deep inside of you. He's been doing that. Wow. Ow. Whoa. Yes. What did you write? Is that what he writes and think about? Upset words. On my way out to the flea market. Hello? I don't know if I can deal with the Amish today. Or maybe you just wanted to get out and get some air because you'd seem kind of down lately. Wow. Um, I'm okay. Go ahead and step in the horse manure. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you do know she's married, right? Keep moving, cheese dick. <laughs> That's the first time I've heard that word. Keep moving, cheese stick. What mystery are you hiding, kid? Can anyone guess what this building was used for a hundred years ago? Before you went to school? Before I went to this school? Please don't say a cemetery. They used to hang people here. No, uh, that, mm -mm, that's not correct. Uh, where'd you hear that? People watching. Spit at them. Wow. Cole, this, this building was a legal courthouse. Maybe he's talking laws about before that. The very first laws of this country. Lawyers, uh, lawmakers. They were the ones that hanged everybody. Mm, I think he's onto something. 
I don't like people looking at me like that. Like what? <laughs> Tell them. Stop it. Oh, something's going to happen here. You're stuttering here. Stanley. Excuse me? You talked funny when you went to school here. You talked funny all the way to high school. How did you... Stop looking at me. Who have you been speaking to? Oh, my Stop goodness. Stanley. What in the world? Did he bring his stutter back? Hold on, because it's almost like there are levels to this now. It's not just that he knew what this kid used to be called as a kid and his speech impairment. Like he almost brought it back. What? That was that was weird. How's it going? I don't want to talk about anything right now. He's such a good actor. He seems so angry right now. So that means what he was saying about the. The building was true. Hmm? Now it's in my right hand. Hmm. I do another little shake and right there in the vest pocket. Right back in the left hand, where it's stuck. That isn't magic. <laughs> what are you about? Of course it's magic. Boo. Exactly. I didn't know you were funny. He's mean, Loki. <laughs> but it makes sense. He's going through some stuff. Do anything for you. I love you guys. Aww. My nose is running jacket. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's their wedding day. No, oh, they're so sweet together. Yeah, dude. Start fixing your marriage. That's important as well. Wow. Antidepressant. And of course, his work that's taking all his time. How come he always forgets it's locked? Penny is moving my pocket all the way back to the hand it started. Ah, he copied his streak. Stupid. <laughs> Hello? What in the world is going on? What the heck was that? One line. Oh yeah, my dad made me invite him. Wow. What the heck is in that room? It's called locked in the dungeon. What the heck? Yeah, Why would you do that to him? You get to be the one locked in the dungeon. Why are kids? Please go help your kid upstairs. That is so horrifying, man. Oh my god. Hello? What is... What is going on here? I have a seizure. Cuts and bruises on your son. They're concerning me. Man. Are they gonna blame the mom? You think I hurt my child? What happened to my child today? For real. Something was happening to him, physically happening. Something was very wrong. So many mysteries, so many unanswered questions here. Then he woke up and he realized they were still driving. He's making up that story, this isn't he? A very long trip. Dr. Crow, you haven't told bedtime stories before. <laughs> Not too many now. He doesn't have, have kids of his own. Some twists. <laughs> okay, story so. about why you're sad. Is he an empath or something? What makes you think that? Your marriage. Her eyes told me. Hmm. Once upon a time, there was this person named Malcolm. Oh, he is. He worked with children. He loved that more than anything else. And then one night, he found out that he made a. Mistake with one of them. Ah, Vincent. I help that one. I can't forget. Mm. Is it that because of what happened with Vincent, like he just buried himself in into work, and that's when different parts of his life, like his marriage and stuff, just started falling apart. And his wife doesn't like the person that he's become. They barely speak anymore. They're like strangers. Yeah. Really cool little boy 
<laughs> That's you. Reminds him a lot of the other one. Like Vincent. And Malcolm decides to try and help this new boy. If he can help this new boy, be like helping that other mm. one too. It will make up for the one he failed. Where's the story end? I don't know. Hmm. That's a bedtime story we twist for you. <laughs> I want to tell you my secret now. Please, I've been waiting for this. I see dead people. What in the world? In your dreams? Nah. In graves? In coffins? I didn't see that one coming. Walking around like regular people. They don't see each other. They only see what they want to see. Hmm. Wow. How often do you see them? All the time. And you know he's not lying. You stay here until I fall asleep. Aw, poor kid. Of course. Yeah, I did not see that one coming at all. Paranoia. Some kind of school age schizophrenia. What if it's real though? Medication. Hospitalization may be required. Hmm. Yep, those are the scratches. Oh, his back is bleeding. What the hell? I can't even imagine how that feels as a mom. Knowing someone or something is hurting your kid and you can't do anything about it. Yeah, I I'd like to talk to you about your boy and his friends keeping their goddamn hands off my son. Facts. Talk to him. This movie is so mysterious. Like, you never know what's, like, coming at you. Especially in, in this, like, dark scenes. <laughs> Does he need to pee? What's with this continuous motif of, like, the temperature dropping? What the heck? I do not like that at all. Mm -mm. I told you all I hate horror movies. I'm freaking home alone right now. Like, mm -mm. nope, 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 nope. I'm going to stop this movie right now. Mm -mm. Mama. Oh, dinner is not ready. Who the hell are you? You can't hide me anymore. Who's Nettie? Oh my god, poor kid. Oh, that's why he brought. Oh my god, poor kid. Moved in the jungle. What what was that? Speak to the animals. Is he in this play? Do you think the play sucked big time? I thought the play was excellent. Cole, I was really interested in what you told me at the hospital. Yeah. I'd like to hear more about it. Is he seeing one? Call? What the heck, yo? What is this movie? He did say he was seeing dead bodies in the school. Like, that's what this school used to be. What? Something up there? Yeah, three of them with their eyes wide open. I don't see anything. Yeah, because you can't. And the tiny hairs on your arm, you know, when they stand up. Yes. That's them. Hmm. When they get mad, it gets cold. Yep. Yeah. Mm mm. That was so sudden, too. Like, poor Cole, man. Are you sure they're there? Don't make him look up there again. Please make them leave. They just had to drop two scary scenes back to back. <laughs> look at him. And the ride is over. I love their relationship. They're watching a movie. Oh, there's an ad. Pedia Ease Cough Suppressant. Gentle, <laughs> fast, effective. Oh. <laughs> 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 
He said, F that happy shit. <laughs> oh, cool. It was grandma's. You know, what if it broke? You know how sad I'd be. Sometimes people think they lose things, and they really didn't lose them. It just gets moved. So did you move the bumblebee pendant? Is he trying to say grandma is still there? Maybe someone came in our house, took the bumblebee pendant out of my closet, and placed it nicely in your drawer. Maybe. Tired in my heart? I need some help. Looks like we're just gonna have to answer each other's prayers. Yeah, I can see how the, her frustration is spewed out talk on to him. Each other, we're not gonna make it. Yeah. But obviously there's a That's supernatural you. side. I, I, did you take the bumblebee pendant? She's not gonna believe him. No. Ah, this is Steve, tough. You need to leave the table. Go! Come on, Mom. Like, no. You can't do that. Yo, who the hell are you, sir? I am speechless, guys. If you're not very bad, can I sleep in your bed tonight? Aw, poor kid. Like, she Look doesn't this. know. Aw. Baby, why are you shaking? He's scared, man. Oh, what's wrong? Please tell me. Oh, mm. Please. That's the thing, though. Like, will she even believe him? <laughs> oh. If he tells her? Cause like him seeing dead people, like that was no joke. Not just seeing them dead, but seeing like maybe what led to the deaths. Cause obviously the kid who was messing with his dad's gun probably misfired. Yikes. For me, Sapphire, it's timeless. Got anything a little plainer? Plainer? You want a plain <laughs> ring to go with your plain fiance? Is that how it is? Oh, look at that tizzy. Uh huh. You're so beautiful. <laughs> You're like a Burmese sapphire all by yourself. You need all that. Uh huh. <laughs> Why don't you? That was a bad save. See how you both feel about it. I think this piece <laughs> communicates a longing. A lot of the pieces in the store communicate. Uh, I think you should choose a piece that speaks to you. I appreciate this comedy. I think I'll just wrap it up. She is really selling it. <laughs> she really is. I appreciated that little bit of comedy, man. What's this? Happy birthday. Oh, he's the one hitting on her, right? That's perfect, Anna. Thanks. What do you want more than anything? Mm. I don't know. I told you what I want. I know what I want. Is he here? I want to be able to talk to my wife again. The way we used to talk to each other. Like there was no one else in the world except us. Mmm, he saw them. Can't be your doctor anymore. I haven't paid enough attention to my family. Mmm. This is tough because obviously I would never condone cheating or anything. So this is not making excuses for it. But it's very obvious that she feels neglect. And, you know, she's seeking someone else. Like it's something that like very commonly happens. And, um... Yeah, it's it's sad to see a lot of families break that way, you know? I feel like needs are not met. And I'm not just talking about sexually, like emotionally too, like, you know, spiritually. Like that bond there is just dying. Sometimes people go look for that outside. But yeah, he's out here making a stand saying he can't, you know, be t um, Cole's doctor anymore. Because he wants to focus on his wife, which, I mean, is never too late. But then again, both things are important. You know, Cole's well-being as well as fixing his family. But let me know your thoughts on that. I'm going to transfer you. I know two psychologists. Don't fail me. Mm. Don't give up. You're the only one who can help me. I know it. Wow. <laughs> Someone else can help you. Oh, man. Believe me, right? Don't lie to him. Dr. Crow, you believe my secret, right? I don't know how to answer that, Cole. Oh, my God. If you don't be for real, man, this kid is so good. Some magic is real, and now he's in a tough spot, you know. 
Of course, he wants to make things work with his family. I do. It's cold in here. Could it be the same thing that was wrong with Vincent? Not wrong, you know what I mean, but. Exactly. Yeah, he's picking up on it. Ah, uh, that's where he left Vincent alone. Did something happen in there? He was breathing heavier. There was a voice in there with him. Man speaking in Spanish. Hello? Yo. Yep. You've been running around? You want to ask me questions now? Yeah, he found something. Something happened, didn't it? Mm hmm. Something happened that made him believe you. That was the mystery, just right? Help. That's right. That's what I think, too. They just want help, even the scary ones. What if they don't want help? What if they're just angry and they just want to hurt somebody? Touche. I think that's the way it works. How do you know for sure? I don't. Oh, yeah. Hey. Is he leaving his house? Hey. Oh, I thought he was just stalking the guy, but is he leaving his house? Is mom dreaming? What's happening? I don't care. Aww. Oh, if okay, I didn't put in her to ease. What a sweet kid. Mom, you sleep now? Mm -hmm. Here we go again. What are we about to see this time? Don't tell me he's in there with him. These people will make me lose my mind. Oh my god. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> I am freaking tense right now. Turn up a light switch, my guy. I do not like any of these horror aspects at all. Is he going to ask her questions? You're one brave kid. I'm going to put that out there. Hmm. Was she poisoned? I'm feeling much better now. Oh. Do you want to tell me something? Aww. He's doing what Malcolm said. Hmm. <sighs> and who am I to say things like this don't happen for real? You know, paranormal activities and, you know, stuff like this. She came a long way to visit me, didn't she? I guess she did. Whose funeral is this? <laughs> oh, is this a family of the girl he just saw? Mmm. That's so sad. I just can't imagine a child being in bed for two years. How many, how many doctors? I think it was six. Six different doctors? I think so, yeah. Dang. Yep, that's her. Don't go home, okay? I definitely won't. Don't go home. Or like, don't leave him behind. Mm -mm. What's he gonna find in there? Girl. Wow. 
What's in the box? It's almost like she's asking him for help to do something, but maybe it's too late because she's already gone. Is that the father? Excuse me, mister. Are you Kara's daddy? Hmm, that's the father. What is in that box? It's for you. Wanted to tell you something. Thank. Yikes. Better turn that on. You can dance for a little bit, and if you don't like the way I dance, you can kick me. <laughs> so she was a puppeteer. Is that the mother or what is that she was poisoning her holy Time for lunch, Kira. is that the mom yo she was poisoned. Is that her? You were keeping her sick. Yeah, your ass got exposed. And why is she wearing red at a funeral? You liked it, she said. She looked out for you. Aw, the poor was little sister. Not anymore. Hmm. What the heck? They're calling for the stable boy. Oh, we have to hurry. Oh yeah, yeah, his play. Who, uh, who were you talking to? Oh my goodness. Just practicing my lines. Okay, I love this because it's almost like he's found his. It's almost like he's found his passion, or rather, his calling. You know, he's no more scared of them. He's helping them. Wild. As well, at least there's that resolution there. You know, when I went to school here, there was a terrible fire in the section of the theater. They rebuilt the whole thing. Yeah, I know. Was that the fire that got her? <laughs> Look at them. Only he who is pure of heart can take the sword from the stone. But he's a stable boy, he cleans up after the horses. Silence, village idiot. <laughs> Let the boy step forward. Yeah, village idiot, shut up. Go get him, Cole. <laughs> Atta boy. <laughs> I love that he didn't fail him. Look at him and his friends. You know what else? What? I thought Tommy Tomasimo sucked big time. Yeah, <laughs> he sucked big time. <laughs> <laughs> I got an idea how you can talk to your wife. Wow. Wait till she's asleep. Then she'll listen to you and she won't even know it. <laughs> Such a kid thing to say, so pure. I'm not gonna see you anymore, am I? Maybe it's time to say thanks to someone closer to you. Yeah, to your mom. Maybe we can pretend like we're going to see each other tomorrow. Just for pretend. Just for pretend. I love that. Okay. I'm going to go now. Now, this kid, he played this role so beautifully. Bruce Willis as well. I'll see you tomorrow, Cole. Mm. I'm okay, officer. What is going on? Jeez, I hope nobody got hurt. You're very quiet. Yeah, probably because he's seen stuff. Fine, Talk to her. I'm ready to communicate with you now. That's so sweet. Yeah, tell you what's going on. Secrets. You know the accident up there. Yeah. Someone got hurt. 
Wow. She died. My God, but you can see her? Yes. <laughs> Not Where over she? there. Standing next to my window. Oh yeah, Mama is freaking out now. Oh, you're scaring me. Oh my I God. Sometimes. Ghosts. She's gonna think his line, isn't she? You see ghosts, Cole. But I think she trusts him enough. I need to do things for them. What are you thinking, Mama? You think I'm a freak? I would never think that about you. Ever. Got it? Mm. Got it. I love that. I love that. <laughs> it's a lot to process, honestly. Grandma says hi. Mm. What? Grandma comes to visit me sometimes. Oh, that's very wrong. But he's serious, though. I know, that. I know. She wanted me to tell you. Oh, she stop. wanted me to tell you she saw you dance. Is that a memory? Said, right before your dance, you were so. <laughs> That's only something grandma would know. You thought she didn't come to see you dance. I love this so much. I love this so much. She hid in the back so you wouldn't see. Oh my god. She said you were like an angel. Mm. You came to the place where they buried her. Asked her a question. Wow. The answer is every day. Oh my god. What did you ask? Uh, do I make her proud? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, do I make her proud? Mm. That was powerful, man. That was that was powerful. Now it's your turn, Malcolm. That's so sad that she watches their wedding videos all the time. That shows that she still wants him and what they had. It's a lovely detail. I love that they took each other's advice. I miss you. I miss you too. What is it? What? Why did you believe me? For real. Hello? I see people. They don't know they're dead. <laughs> How often do you see them? All the time. They're everywhere. Oh my god. We see what they want to see. Oh my god. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's been dead. Oh. That's why she's always cold when he's around. He died that night. <sighs> he died that night. Oh my god. Oh man, I just started feeling so bad for her because he's been dead. I think I'm okay, really. I think it just went, went in and out. I, it doesn't even hurt anymore. Wow. Wow. That's why she's been lonely. That's why she's been lonely and that's why he can see. <sighs> I think I can go now. Yeah. I needed to help someone. I did. You did. And I needed to tell you something. 
You were never second. Mm. Ever. I love you. Dear. You sleep now. You sleep now. Everything will be different in the morning. Good night, Malk. Good night, sweetheart. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This is one of those movies that when you rewatch it, like everything just adds up perfectly. Like you can point out all those things that you missed. Malcolm was dead the whole time. The whole time. Now, this has to be one of the craziest plot twists I've ever seen. It's like rewatching it, all the answers were right there, you know? Cause the door was always shut. He was unable to open the door. He needed his keys. <sighs> Every time he was around, she was cold, she was distant. Dude, even their anniversary, when she paid for the bill and was like, happy anniversary, he wasn't there. And now you can watch all these scenes and just imagine just her alone being there. Which makes sense why she was like getting closer to her coworker. Like she wasn't cheating, she was just like trying to move on. Oh my goodness. And obviously Cole being able to talk to him and then being able to converse over and over like in the church and everything. The answer was right in front of us the whole time. <laughs> the fact that, oh my God, the fact that Cole said, I only see dead people. Like I see dead people and they don't know that they're dead. Like that was the answer, like right in front of us the whole time, right in front of me. Everything adds up like with his wife taking antidepressant and like you would think it's just cause their relationship is just so horrible and she's depressed. Nah, it's because he passed away. God, this movie, I bet all of you enjoyed seeing that freaking realization come to my head. I can't wait to rewatch it and just while I'm editing watch myself just realize that in real time. Oh my god, this movie is beautiful. Like everything came came together so good. Like how he was helping the kid and and something I just noticed throughout this movie is like we don't see Bruce like conversing with anyone else. We don't see Malcolm conversing with everyone else. Anyone else. It makes sense because he's dead. Like he only converse with Cole the whole movie. Man, and this beautiful storyline about like Cole and his mom with the grandma's pendant. <laughs> the scene of the accident. Oh my God. Guys, see how I'm gushing over this movie? Oh my God. And the whole time, like Malcolm not even knowing that he's dead. The whole time to that last moment. Which is crazy because all the dead people that Cole has been seeing, he's been helping them with like some final mystery or helping them complete a desire they had or expose something. Which perfectly works out because Malcolm's character's last wish was to like help that kid, was to help Cole and in essence help Vincent, the one who actually shot him. So the whole theme of like the dead people or the ghosts wanting Cole to do something for them, essentially Malcolm was having Cole do something for him, which is like healing him or like helping him through his issue, which in essence, like they helped each other out. Oh man, that reveal was by far one of the best plot twists I've ever seen. That's why right when it happened, like my whole, I can't even describe what I felt. I think I felt shock and quickly immediately like the emotions just came rushing in. Cause it's like his poor wife, man, he's been dead. Oh, this movie is amazing. I don't know what else to say. This movie is amazing. If you're watching this right now, tell me if you could tell this plot twist was coming. Cause there was no way like, that's why a lot of things didn't make sense to me, but it's like, it wasn't supposed to make sense to you. They were just supposed to be breadcrumbs that you eventually put together. Wow.
Thank you all for watching, man. Thank you all for watching, for liking the video, for subscribing, for having these conversations with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. This was amazing. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.